have new information tonight on the allegations of a pattern of verbal and physical abuse by students at Washington Middle School in Green Bay. You'll remember a highly regarded teacher at the school abruptly resigned from her position back in June, leaving many parents shocked. Tonight, NBC 26's Eric Crest has new details outlining what really happened leading up to the resignation and what district leaders were doing to fix the problems. Eric? In these 245 pages worth of emails between teachers and school district leaders from Green Bay, we're learning more about what led up to Kirsten Westcott's resignation from Washington Middle School. Now today we're learning that the problems at Washington didn't start overnight. A staff self-assessment we've obtained says that since 2014, the majority of staff at Washington did not think the school defined consequences for students with problem behaviors very well. Now as Westcott resigned this summer, first reached out to the school board on May 7th with some serious state safety concerns. Now she pointed out dozens of examples of sexual and physical harassment occurring at school in a matter of just two weeks and questioned why district leaders weren't doing more to get a handle on the problem. Now one day after the detailed email was sent to a school board member, additional staff was sent to Washington to monitor and evaluate concerns raised. But according to the emails sent to district leaders from teachers, there was a concern that that students weren't being disciplined for their actions. Now, just yesterday, the school board was presented with a behavioral response chart. It's supposed to help schools across the Green Bay District better determine the, the appropriate response and consequences to inappropriate behavior. Now, coming up at 6 and 10, we'll have more on what only these emails can explain. With NBC 26, I'm Eric Crest. Thanks, Eric. Now, to give you a little bit more information on the chart that was released by Green Bay School District to make the response to abusive behaviors more uniform. We took a look at that chart and bring it to you now. Leaders spelled out five response levels ranging from loss of class privileges to long-term removal from the school. The district also broke down what behaviors warrant stronger disciplines than others. And you can see the full chart on our website, NBC26.com.